that's good. Uh, my name's Glenda Sutton. I'm from Victoria. I started racing camels in 1998. I went to the United Arab Emirates. I saw an ad in the paper to learn to race them over there. With racing, as I'm going out to the start, all I'm thinking about is how that camel feels, what it's thinking, where it's looking, because it's got to look down the racetrack in the right direction. The bond I've got on their back when I'm riding them, they accept you and they love you. And our bond when we're running is so strong. And when we get to the end, whether they've come last or first, I'll give them a really good pat, tell them they're good. And they love it. They absolutely love it, the, the running. It is not cruel to run an animal that loves running. And you know, something that is cruel is an animal that is bored. An animal that's been put in a small yard somewhere or just in a paddock, nothing to do, that's cruel. These animals have got minds that tick over and they want to do things. And when you think about them out in the wild, they walk up to 30 kilometres a day, they explore, they have their herd just like a family of people and they're not going to go giving you kisses on the face after you've ridden them if they've felt that what you've done is cruel. With our breaking in, we do restrain them a lot and we try and speak to them calmly and quietly and just keep repeating the word, like to teach them to sit down, you say hush, so you just keep repeating hush, hush, hush. You're not trying to hurt them or frighten them, you're just showing them that you are the boss and they've got to do as you ask, but you're very kind to them when they, they do do the right thing. They are a kind animal, they're inquisitive, they're friendly, they don't want confrontation and it's only when they're pushed into a corner a lot of them will do anything. You find too, an animal that's got a lot of discipline and knows a lot of commands and understands what you want is a much happier animal than one that is just let run riot and you know does whatever it wants when it wants it. You, you get some, you get your very extreme personalities, you get very kind ones that don't want to hurt you and want to please you, your cautious type, you get your very bold type, your bit cheeky naughty type that wants to jump all over you and stuff. And I have to be very careful too because I'm only five foot three and I know camels do respect height with humans so I've just got to do that little extra when it comes to getting their respect but what you've got to remember it's a very very large animal it can kill they can kill you with their legs their mouth their neck squashing anything <laughs> <laughs> 